Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Bilal Kashif and you're watching iExpert360 and today we are going to show you how you can recover Cisco router from Roman mode. So I'm using a Cisco 1900 series router and specifically 1921 series router for this video demonstration. And so for the recovery of the router from Roman, you'll need a software that is called TFTP. I'm using SolarWinds TFTP software and the link would be in the description. You can download it as you can see SolarWind TFTP server. So what is a TFTP server? A TFTP server helps you to send your firmware from your laptop or desktop via patch card towards your router. So you can do it and I have set in a path. This is the default path of my TFTP server. You can have your own. So first of all, we need to configure the TFTP server where the file is. File, browse. The iOS for my router, I have placed it in TFTP server and I have placed it in Cisco routers. Okay, okay. Make sure your firewall is turned off. Let me just double check it. Windows Defender Firewall. Turn off your firewall because sometimes the packets get dropped and interrupted by the firewall. So now we are good to go. I have already plugged in the wire into my router gig 0 slash 0 port. So now what are the commands that I use to do it? First of all, let me just show you TFTP DNLD. If you do it, it will give you a list of commands that you have to add. IP address of the router, IP subnet mask of the router, default gateway, this will be the IP address of your computer. This TFTP server would be your laptop or desktop and the file name. So let's first configure IP address of our computers. Network, control center, admins, Ethernet. As you can see, right now the Ethernet is disconnected, but when we will enter the TFTP DT and LD command, it will be triggered. Let me assign an IP address 192.168.11.10. You can assign anyone. Okay. Close and close. So let's configure the commands. IP A double D R E double S IP address 192.168.11.50. IP subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Default gateway 192.168.11.10. This is my laptop IP address TFTP server 192.168.11.10. Now the file name TFTP file. I have already copied the file name. Let's fetch it for you. This is my iOS. As the file is uh, around 72 MBs, we would need to configure an optional that is TFTP timeout. It would be in seconds. Default is 72 seconds, but I will increase it as 98700 seconds. So that's it. Now we'll hit, uh, enter TFTP ENLT. These are the parameters that we have entered, and it is just giving us a verification that you have entered this. If it is correct, do you wish to continue? Yes. 
when you hit continue the solo winds uh, will start downloading the file from our laptop to the router as you can see the file uh, the tftp connected from 192.168.11.50 and the file has been transferred it is being started as you can see this is my path e tftp cisco router and this is the name of the file and this is the size and it is being copied so the most important thing is you have to double check your firewall your port and your ip address so as you can see the file is being copied file reception completed ios image load test all system sector written okay cache would be formatted and now it will be pulled from this ios the method is all the way same for all the other uh, models of Cisco routers that is 2600 or 2800, 3900 series, 2900 series. The method is 100% same for all the other router series of Cisco. program load complete entry point there would be uh, I think two or three entry points and then the iOS will be booted so if you're new to the channel I consider you subscribing my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications from our channel and we're always posting these information videos for you we're not just increasing our views or uh, adding more videos in our playlist we are also helping you guys so you can recover your uh, equipment your cisco router from roman mode without paying a penny to any other technical guys so i consider you subscribing to get the more information stuff from our channel ixworth 360 is always willing to uh, help and support the IT professionals so they can perform better at work at their job and they don't have uh, they, sh they should have the uh, self-confidence in them that they can do anything they want to achieve <laughs>
as you can see the router is already booted up and now it shows the uh, version C1900 software C1900 universal K9 15.4 as you can see this is the same file that we have sent via TFTP to our routers flash memory so this is it we have already achieved the goal of our video and that was to recover our router from roman mode and as I repeat the process is 100% same for all the other models that is 1800 series, 2800 series, 1900 series, 2900 series, 3800 series and 3900 series the process is 100% same if your router is in roman mode you can recover your router using these commands and sending the iOS via TFTP server the link of the SolarWinds TFTP server would be in the description so you can download the TFTP server from their official website and you can just install it and use it as I have uh, demonstrated it in my video so this is it for this video and I'll see you guys with more exciting stuff in my next video And if you're new, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications from iExpert360. Stay blessed and stay safe. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon. To get the latest notifications from our channel, type your valuable comments and like our video. You can contact me at our official Facebook page, our official WhatsApp number, my personal email address and on our YouTube channel by posting your valuable comments and on my Skype. So thanks a lot for watching and I see you guys on my next videos. Thanks a lot.